Malibu Move. Hello, I'm H.G. Tudor. One moment, their parting ways. The next, it's suggested that they're moving on to a new chapter. But what is this? Well, according to Harriet Alexander of the Mail, the news is that Harry and Harry's wife's new home might be in Malibu because apparently they've been eyeing up an $18 million Malibu property, a stone's throw away from the Kardashians, as they prepare to relaunch after high-profile A-list hangouts. Ah. Well, if they were to move there, I suspect that the Kardashians will want to move out, not wanting to be seen to hang around with the toxic twosome. And... It's another attempt to persuade everybody that Harry's wife in particular is relaunching matters. Harry is pursuing a more charitable approach, as we've explained before. It's something that he's always wanted to do, something that he's often done previously. But with Harry's wife, her relaunch is all about her. All about the celebrity status, because I, as explained in parts passing, her narcissism has dictated that that will reap the richer rewards for her. According to the article, Prince Harry and Harry's wife have been to visit the site of an $18 million mansion in Malibu. Increasing speculation, the pair could be looking to leave Monte Chicho and move their family closer to Hollywood. This, of course, would fit with the stated aims of Harry's wife to try and make more of the celebrity status that she has acquired by being a Z-lister. The couple apparently went to see the estate over the Labor Day weekend. At present, it offers little more than a parcel of land valued at $8 million, with a swimming pool already built and plans for a modern 10,000-square-foot property, which would cost... $10 $10 million to erect. Harry, 38, and Harry's wife, <clears throat> 42, have lived in their nine-bedroom $14 million mansion in Monte Chicho since 2020. The 18,000-square-foot Mediterranean-style home features rose gardens, century-old olive trees, a tennis court, a tea house, a children's cottage, and a pool, as well as 47,000 flushing toilets. Other locals include Oprah Winfrey, Ellen DeGeneres, Ariana Grande, Gwyneth Paltrow, Katy Perry and Orlando Bloom. But the house is 85 miles from Hollywood, a drive of around an hour and a half. How slowly do they drive? And in recent weeks, speculation has been building that they may soon move. Well, interestingly, of course... Speculation have been building that they weren't going to be together any longer and therefore in the circumstances that there would be a separation or that a separation had already taken place. But now, if it's accurate, they're looking at a new property to bring them closer to the celebrity world that Harry's wife craves. The Malibu plot apparently is only 25 miles from Hollywood or a 45-minute drive. And it's a mere 15 miles from Calabasas, where the Kardashians live. Uh, that might be 15 miles enough for the Kardashians to ensure that there is at least some breathing space between them and the gruesome twosome. Harry's wife's mother, Doria Ragland, was photographed at a charity event with Kim Kardashian and her mother, Kris Jenner. See parts passing for an analysis of that. The Malibu site already has a guard house protecting the long drive to where the main residence will be built. The property above Broad Beach and the Pacific Coast Highway will feature a striking ultra-modern main house with expansive windows and sweeping ocean views, according to the renderings. Brendan Brown of Westside Estate Agency has the listing of the property and promoted it on Instagram last month. Incredible Malibu development opportunity. RTI ready, with plans by award-winning architect and foundation underway, he wrote. Located directly above PCH and overlooking Broad Beach, this unrivaled lot that affords the most extreme privacy is offered at $8 million. 
He said the site is 5.26 acres with 360 degree ocean views, completely gated for privacy and security, he added. Ah, well, the Sussexes will be delighted at that as a consequence of their absolute need for privacy, having embarked on a worldwide privacy tour previously. The couple are said to be keen to find somewhere secluded for their family, but also close enough to Hollywood for their increasing number of Hollywood jaunts. What's that? Getting on one of those tour buses that takes you around the homes of the stars, because that's the closest that Harry's wife is going to get to them. They don't want to deal with her. They're not interested in her. Though, as I've explained to you previously, she won't accept that. Why? Her narcissism won't allow it to happen. She believes that she belongs with those people, that they are her kind of people. And thus, this potential purchase of a property in Malibu is once again being driven by her narcissism. Her narcissism wants her to secure the prime aims. It therefore sees the celebrity route as the most effective way of doing that. And at the moment, they're too far away from Celebville to achieve that. Her narcissism doesn't process the fact that people within that world are not particularly interested in her, but rather it's that amazing delusion that powers the necessity of involvement with such people, or at least the attempt to do so, whereby the narcissism deludes Harry's wife into believing that she can make it, that she can achieve what she needs to achieve, that she belongs with that type of group. It's this kind of self-belief and delusion that is common with narcissists and often enables them to achieve so that they're able to deal with rejection after rejection after rejection and then, for some at least, they eventually get that breakthrough. For others, they never do, somehow believing that they could have been a contender, etc. Harry's wife falls into the latter group, a talent-free zone and, only known because of who she married, nobody sees anything particularly worthwhile in her. Initially, Spotify and Netflix did, based upon what? The fact that she was a member of the royal family and they wanted all of the juicy dirt in relation to that. Once it became clear that the lemons had been particularly well squeezed, all that came out of that was more whining and complaining and Spotify realised there was nothing else beyond that and thus cut ties, as we all know. Here, Harry's wife's narcissism determines the most appropriate thing to now do is direct her to try, the, try out the celeb angle. And that means a move to Malibu. She is likely to go along with this because it's what her narcissism dictates. And, appropriately deluded, she is going to attempt to break into that market, into that environment. She thinks those people are her people. She thinks that that's the crowd that she belongs to. And therefore, it isn't a surprise to find that she's using her ill-gotten gains to look at a property in Malibu. I'm H.G. Tudor. Thank you for listening.